sometimes I wonder why ladies just give salient information just like that. Sensitive information, critical information, secret, sacred information that goes a long way to destroy your relationship with God, with people, marriages, your partners, beloveds, your jobs to the extent that someone will lose her job all in the name of friendship, all in the name of I'm a colleague and I have to speak with my colleague at work and all that. Your information should be an expensive commodity in your life. There are certain people you may not know their fear of God and you are not obliged either to give them information. You don't owe them any information. Get that? You don't owe people information just like that. Especially when you don't know people. You don't know the mind behind because there are people when they're around you, they will try to f fish things out of you and push you to say certain things. Especially when you know that, no, this thing is sacred. When this come out, and I don't know where the destination of this thing is going to. And you don't know the person's level with God. And we're talking about the power of authorization that has to do with friendship. If you haven't listened to it, there's a message on the platform. You can go and listen to it. I mean, people have been deteriorated. They are deteriorating. And to the extent that it, it, it ends badly. And Proverbs has said it. That there are plans or there are ways that seems right to a man. But in the end it's dead. So whenever you decide. To let out that information, to let out that thing that is sacred and secret and you don't want people to know. But some way, somehow, people, and people can be, you know, um, they can be like snakes. I mean, some of them can be, can, some of the people, especially if you don't have the fear of God in you. You can be so, um, your, your ways can be like the snake such that you have a way of drawing information for people now if you like if you are such a person you are listening to this message you got to stop if you don't know god i would acknowledge that him to you but if you know jesus christ as your lord and personal savior you realize that certain things in your life are changing i mean there are people even in the christian faith who can pray but their level of enviness cannot be measured it is unlimited. They can pray. They can do this. They can do that. They, they, they go to church of faith. They, you know, a lot of things. But such people, such people, they are even worse. They are envy. They are greediness. They are selfishness. But by attitude in their workplaces, they just hear the word, but they don't use it. And like the parable of the sower, there are people who just come to church. They hear the word of God. It falls on sand. It falls. When, when, once they hear, the wind takes it away. It doesn't settle on good ground. So be careful. No matter who you go to church with, let, know the person's um, quiet time with God. When it is not church hours and the person is alone or when things it is not all about church now and the person is going about his or her social life. Observe the person's attitude, the things the person will utter, the things the person will do. And so don't encourage gossips and unnecessary incessant talks. It is very necessary. Now, if people do not understand certain things about you, you are not the best person to explain because over the years, you cannot change people's mentality about you. But where God is taking you will make people know that their perception about you is not the same as the perception of how God sees you. You don't need to explain yourself because you can explain yourself a thousand times. People will still do what they want to do. It is a fact. You can explain yourself and use uh, here and here words, 100,000 words, to even write an essay. They will still do what they want to do. They are not listening. Even the word of God 
wind a, a wind or a, a wave can take it away how much more are you explaining yourself with your own words they will not they may listen right now they it will look like they are changing they would at the end of the day stab you in the back again people will always be people so you know you pray about your, your the friends kind of friends that you choose because there's not everybody who smiles with you has a good or bright or shiny thought about you they are gloomy in there they are gloomy thoughts in there and you don't need to apologize for your blessings why are you apologizing for your blessings in the name of what you owe nobody you owe no one any explanation of your blessings you don't owe it to anybody if they have a problem with god they can pray to god but god is not going to listen to that prayer anyway protect your information your credit card states because when people get into that sensitive areas they are able to stab you in the back and stab you all they are able to get you into you know that state of deteriorating and get into you so if you're not getting in sometimes they try to frustrate your plans they try to conf create confusion they try to do a certain thing something that if you hear you start you know trembling and you you become anxious you go through anxiety i have been there going through some form of anxiety sometimes you go through anxiety and sometimes it's the enemy obviously it's the enemy that is the if god directs a king's heart like a water course Whatever God does, the enemy tries to oppose. So he will also oppose by directing other people's heart towards his own agendas. So be careful of people's agendas as well. You all know about any explanation to your blessings. God is blessing you. And that is where God is taking you. You all know about any information that is critical to you and to your life. In the name of friendship. And now you realize at the end of the day, the person who is even saying it, saying in his or her head, that you are not my friend anyway. I just want a certain information in order to get to you. That is all. Now, Samson fell because of the love of a woman who is evil, Delilah, who wanted Samson to be defeated. And so he asked for Samson's strength. And Samson, several, he pointed. So you see, sad people, they behave like Delilahs. They try to use certain means to get information. And at the end of the day, they stab you in the back. May God give us wisdom, understanding, illumination, grace, power to go through this life. So that we'll be able to understand such people who behave in the movement like snakes or who behave in a snake-like a snake -like manner trying to get certain things sometimes even if they don't get it from you in a first hand they go through back door somebody you think is closer will be selling you out cheaply will be selling you out cheaply if he, he or she can't get it he can go through somebody that is close close to you closer so that is why mostly those people close to us betray us jesus christ was betrayed by judas judas was closer but it was for a purpose so god had to allow his son to come and die for us if you're listening to this and you don't know jesus christ as your lord say lord and personal savior i am going to acknowledge and commend and recommend jesus christ to you he is the only way the truth and the life so you got to give your life to jesus christ and submit everything to him and trust your life into his divine care into god's care and he will direct you and let the Holy Spirit be your God. May God bless you. Hi everybody. I'm Pebbles and I'm an inspirational speaker, a coach and a teacher by COVID. And I'm from Ghana. I hope you were blessed by today's message. Don't forget to subscribe. 
to our channel win the soul foundation and inspirational pills tv all on youtube if you like the message you can smash the like button and you can also comment let's know your comment on the messages and we are so excited to meet you and to talk to you remember you are a royal priesthood a holy nation and a person chosen by God.